So there is something else I would like to touch on, just a quick kind of kind of update. There is a website slash app called Backstitch. I've talked about it before here on the channel, but it's a really great idea. It's a tool that helps you organize your like fabric and your pattern stash. And it also is, has like a community element. It allows you to like meet other people. You can see what other people are working on. You can review patterns. You can show people your projects and got, kind of has like sort of a blogging thing going on. I signed up. Admittedly, I haven't. I, I, I kind of I, I've kind of fallen behind with like using the tool, but I think the idea is really cool. And it could be a really huge thing for the sewing community calls. So it's called Backstitch. Again, I did a video on it um, on the main channel. I talked about it here as well. Uh, but it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, so I want to show it to you. So it's called a, a better way to organize your sewing, plan your projects, organize your fabric stash, and discover inspiring patterns while connecting with a community that shares your passion with sewing. Uh, just super cool thing. And I've been following the uh, founders. On, I've been following them on Instagram. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's free to use. They do. I they have like a plus subscription. I'm not normally like too jazzed about subscription stuff, but I do think this is kind of a cool uh, thing. So if you haven't signed up, I would definitely you can sign up for the beta wait list. I'm on there at Sewing Report, um, and the founders post a lot of really helpful updates on Instagram, and they're also very responsive to user feedback. I think this is cool, and I believe they're working on, like, it's not, like, in the App Store, but it's, like, very mobile-friendly, so you can pull up the website on your phone, and you can also create a shortcut for your phone. So it is a web-based app. But I saw this update on Instagram, and I wanted to tell you this because this is kind of a big deal for them, and it also touches on a lot of things we've been talking about with, like, trademark and intellectual property. Uh, so Backstitch posted an update that I guess they're going to have to change the name. So they're not going to be able to be Backstitch anymore. And I also, I think this upcoming week, I'm going to try to reach out to them and see if they want to maybe like do an interview about the, about the, um, about the, the, what it is, but also talk about what's going on. Cause this is sort of nuts. I don't know if they can talk about it, but I noticed this update and I thought it was interesting. So it says, uh, we are changing our name, so don't be alarmed when the name and logo on our site and on Instagram is changed in a few days. So in a few days from now, Backstitch will, I guess, no longer be Backstitch. Of course, we would rather not do something so drastic, but we've decided that a name change is better than getting entangled in a legal mess. So basically, it says, uh, this is we are changing our name. This is due to a U.S. trademark dispute that we have no interest in fighting. And I believe the Backstitch founders are from like, I think from Europe, somewhere in Europe, I believe. In the coming days, we'll be transitioning the name and logo on our site plus Instagram. A new name, which will be revealed soon, will take some time to get used to, uh, but we are still the same platform and we hope you have some patience as we sort this out. This is huge. Uh, Guru and Andre. So this is, we don't have the time, interest, or money to fight this. We'd much rather spend our energy and focus on improving the platform for you. This has been a stressful week for us, but we will do our best to make this a seamless transition for you guys. You shouldn't really notice much else than a new logo here and there. We're excited to share our name soon. This is, wow, I feel bad for these folks because, yeah, that sucks. That really sucks that they're running into a trademark issue. Yeah, I'm, and again, this isn't unheard of. This happens quite a bit with businesses. And yeah, this is, not fun. So I guess they're going to be getting a new name and they're going to have to change everything over. So yeah, if you haven't checked it out though, I highly recommend you to join the wait list and check it out because it is a really, it seems like it'll be a really useful tool for people. Let's see if they're responding to comments. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> we were joking about calling it Untitled Sewing App in the interim, but no, thank you. Wow. All right, so I guess they're going to, in a few days, it's not going to be backstitch anymore. I guess we're going to TBD. Yeah, this is, but yeah, people really like it so far. The feedback's been great. And what I like about the backstitch uh, founders is that they've been continuing to make improvements to the platform. 
Let me try to search the USPTO website to see if, um, I kind of want to see if backstitch is, like, what the trademark is. Let's see what we got here. Okay, trademarks guy. Okay, oh wait, let's see if I can search this. I want to see if we can search for the trademark here. Okay, let's see here. Trademark. Right, how do you search this? <clears throat> so I want to see if I can find, like, who has the trademark here. Trademark search system. Okay. All right, so let's search for this. All right. Because I'm curious to see who has Backstitch trademarked. Backstitch. Okay, general search. Let's do a search here. Okay, ooh. All right, there's like, there's a few. So, and again, if you missed the conversation I did a couple weeks ago with Rob Freund on intellectual property, we actually go over trademark law a bit. Uh, so that will kind of correspond, that will kind of correlate nicely with this topic. But yeah, if you have a trade, like there can be trademark disputes and if you want to fight it, you have to have a lot of money. You got to have a lot of money to do that. So pretty interesting. So let's see who has got the trademark. So looks like there's two companies, two, one. So there's one that's live and registered and it's for coffee. So it's owned by Bespoken Coffee Roasters, LLC. And then there's a corporation that's retail store services featuring clothing, outdoor apparel. And that's live and pending. So I guess that's like on the way. So let's see where this takes us here. Okay, right, it says this is for the class of class 35 retail store services. And this does cover quite a bit. So I don't know if this would directly conflict with the sewing community or like the sewing category, but it's not unheard of for companies to kind of be very aggressive with the enforcement. And even if the backstitch people are in the right legally, it would take them a lot of money and time and lawyers to fight it. And they might not want to do that. So I totally understand that. So this is for retail store services featuring clothing, outdoor apparel, bags, backpacks, lots of like, look at how much this does cover. Outdoor apparel, yeah, clothing, all kinds of stuff. So let's see what this backstitch. All right, so this is backstitch out of Oregon. Let's see if we can find out some more information. Mark information backstitch. The mark consists of standard characters without claim to any particular font, style, size, or color. Current owners, Backstitch Inc. out of Oregon. Let's see if I can find this. Backstitch Inc. Oregon. Let's see what they do. Okay. There's a couple. There's actually a couple search results for Backstitch. Okay, there's a couple that come up. There is this... Uh, Backstitch.io, and it says tailor-made employee communications. I doesn't look like they have a trademark, though. But then there's also, I wonder if this is the one. Uh, Backstitch, it says, our passion is making outdoor-inspired accessible products. So we are a mission-driven social benefit company founded in the high. So this might be it. I don't know exactly what they make, though. Custom equipment and accessories, consulting with brands. Yeah, so this might be. So it looks like they designed and manufacture like different products or something. Yeah, let's see their let's see their Instagram. I'm curious. So this is out of Bend, Oregon. But kind of interesting. All right, so this is what they, I guess, make. So I wonder if these are the people that might, uh, 
you know, maybe try to contact Backstitch the sewing app. Yeah, so it looks like they make a lot of different products. And their, their trademark actually covers a lot of categories. So uh, this is back. Let's see if it's the same people, though. So let's go back. Yeah, this is, it looks like this is the same company. So it says, out of, they're, they're both out of Bend, Oregon. So it does look like this is probably the same company. Let's see, goods and services. Okay. So this is how you can kind of look up to see what is trademarked. All right, let me take a look at the other company. So this is another backstitch, but this one probably isn't, this doesn't seem like it would be, let's see. Although the other trademark though, they're not, this one is pending. So I don't even, I, I think this is the one that's not active. So that's pretty interesting too. I don't know, I, yeah. So it says a pending trademark has been examined and has been published in a way that provides an opportunity uh, for the public to oppose its registration. So I wonder if they're the ones that are coming after Backstitch the app. Then there's this Backstitch. They have a live registration. So I don't know. It could be this person too. I don't know. We don't know. Uh, current owners. This is Bespoken Coffee. Okay, this is, but this, yeah, this is also out of Oregon. Bespoken Coffee Roasters. Let's see what this is. We're doing a little on the fly uh, research here. All right, so this is Bespoken Coffee Roasters. They also got the trademark to backstitch for, let's see what their category is here. Okay, they only have it for coffee, so theirs is just for coffee. So I, I'm gonna guess, if I had to guess, I would probably lean more towards the uh, backstitch, the company that makes products, I guess. So kind of interesting, but if you, you know, if you use Backstitch or if you've been following this particular tool, looks like they're getting into a bit of a trademark dispute. So they're going to have to change the name, you know, and actually I've known people who've had to change the name of their business because of a trademark dispute. It's definitely not unheard of. So pretty in like, this is kind of insane. Let's see. So let's look at the coffee. See, I don't know why they trademarked, um, not really sure why this coffee company company trademarked Backstitch, but they did. Maybe that's the name of one of their ro I Oh, wait. Yeah, they got the Backstitch blend. Okay. So this is why the coffee company trademarked Backstitch. They have a blend called Backstitch for whatever reason. So it says, so this is why. But coffee really has nothing to do with sewing. So I don't really know if that could conflict. Backstitch is a coffee for all seasons. All weather and all methods. It's a blend whose components. I don't know what that has to do with backstitching, but who knows? So that's the latest with backstitch the sewing app. Really sorry to hear that though, because that really sucks to. It just really sucks to be dealing with all that. Let me see if they're talking about this on the uh, community tab. Let's see if they're. I want to. I'm curious to see if they're. Maybe maybe they've talked about this a bit. I don't know. All right, let me see if we can do that. Let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> but they've they've really been taught. They're, they're very good about being involved with the community and everything. Let me see if we can find a thread. Okay, let's see. All right, so. All right, let's see what. Let's see if they're talking about this at all. I don't know. Support and feedback. All right, this is general. Probably not here. Support and feedback feature. Maybe they're talking. I just, I'm curious to see if they're talking about this somewhere. But yeah, this is what the Backstitch website looks like. It's very, like you, I will say it's pretty user friendly. You can like use it to categorize your whole fabric stash and you know, your patterns. I think the idea is really cool. All right, yeah, I don't really see them, I don't really see them talking about it too much. But yeah, kind of a bummer. Like that's, that's, I think that stinks for them. You know what I'm saying here? 
All right, let me go back to back stitch. But I mean, they've been put, you know, it stinks because they put a lot of work into this. And it's definitely going to be a, a lot of hassle for them to change everything for sure. All right, so let's see what they're talking about in the comments here. All right. Manage, yeah, I mean, I'm so sorry to hear that, though. This is not fun. Not fun at all. Everyone's been very supportive, though. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't checked out Backstitch, definitely at least follow it. Follow the account on Instagram. Sign up for the beta. Check it out. I think the tool is very promising for the sewing community. And the founders seem very dedicated to actually being involved in the... Like, they're not just trying to sell something to the sewing community, but they seem vested in the success of the sewing community and then actually helping. Um, so I am going to try to get in touch with them.